Hello there, I'm Shweta Sawant and welcome to this channel. Today's video is about exact planning of statistics paper. I know so many questions would be there in your mind, how to study for statistics, how we can score well in the subject or at least enter the second year after passing the subject. So this is the video which is a very very important video. Please stay on the video and understand the steps that you have to follow when you are studying statistics. So this is your first step where you will be seeing the statistics types. Now where you will find these statistics types is in your drive where I have already shared the link. You have to download or uh, get all the material of MAPC first year. In first year, there is a folder saying IGNU statistics MPC 006, that is your statistics paper. And there is this file. So when I open this file, these are the problem types you will be getting for exams. So when I start statistics, okay, first thing I will come, this is the day one, and I will come here and I will select my type. So I'll select first type, Spearman's row. I'm going to start with Spearman's row. So let's see how to begin with Spearman's row. Now I have decided what statistics type I have. I have to work today. So that's your step one, selecting the type. Now your step two is watching the video given on YouTube for Spearman's row. I have already shared the video on YouTube. Okay, that should be your step two, to watch the video, to understand the problem. Okay. And to solve the problem already given on the window. Or the next step is when you have understood the problem, you understood the formula. Now your next step is your step number three. This is your step three. I'll put my screen here. That is your question papers. Now you have to go through the question papers where you will find multiple uh, types, okay? So when I go to this document, it's clearly given, okay? The question papers are given where you have to find, you have to go to December 2012 question paper. Second problem is your Spearman's row problem. December 2015 section A, second problem, is your Spearman's row problem clearly given which question paper is having your problem, right? So what you are going to do, once you have decided your step number one, statistics type you want to study, understand the formula using the YouTube video. The step number three is the problem solving using question papers, okay? Now, what I will plan is day one, I will be doing step number one, step number two. That is uh, YouTube, understanding the YouTube videos and all. If you can cover, that is up to you. In day one, the step number three, at least one problem, it's up to you. But then we will move to day two, day three and day four for the question papers. So you can do one thing. Okay, this is your type. So I selected type number one as Pearman's row. Okay, that's my problem type that I have selected. And I have seen the video. For example, I have seen it for about 20 minutes video. Now 20 minutes are gone. You have only 40 minutes remaining. So 40 minutes, you can divide into 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or something like that. For the problems, you will solve from question paper. Okay. Like that. So this is your day number one. 
covering all this, selecting type and then 20 minutes video. Now day number two, you can use this. Day number two for these two. Or you can use all three for day number one. That is up to you. Okay. Day one, day one. Right. Now what you will do on day number two is again you select three questions from the same problem type and then give some more time. So this will be one hour, right? And you will watch a video again for about 10 minutes to revise. Okay, so you will have 10 minutes, 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes. Try to finish with 10, uh, within 10 minutes. If it's taking you longer time, then that's up to you. It's fine. All right. So this is for day two plan. Okay. Same type. We are on the same type. All right. If you can cover everything, that's okay. But if you cannot, that's also fine. No problems. And you will not be able to cover all the question papers, okay, on day one itself. So if you see, day one is three questions, day two is four questions about. So it's not uh, possible that you will be doing all the question papers coming here. You can see there are so many, right? Now, as you know, Spearman's row has two types. There is non-repetitive scores and there is repetitive scores. Both are different formula. So try to solve three from here, three from here. Okay, three or four from here. Okay, balance both. So you see that uh, you cannot cover everything, but try to dedicate two days for one type. So you have how many types? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 types. So 10 types, 2, 2 days, right? I can calculate here. If I have types as 10 or 11, you can just guess it. And I have um, two days for each type, right? I'll be using two days for each type. So 20 days for all the types. And that should be enough. So if you are, if your exams are like since, uh, after two months, you can take one month of time for statistics paper to cover all these problems. Okay. Now there is one more plan that I would like to show you how to study. For example, this is Monday, Tuesday, we'll see a weekly plan. And if you want to take an off on Sunday, uh, depends. That you can plan accordingly. Okay. Now, if I start studying on Monday. Or maybe I will turn the cycle. Here I will start on Saturday. So, let's uh, write it like this. I will start from Saturday. Okay. And I have selected one type here. So this is not required. Let's start the week from Saturday. Sometimes you might have a Saturday off. Uh, sometimes you might be working on a Saturday. You can do it in the evening. But as you know that a video to watch to understand the formula, it will take some time. 
that's why you keep that video watering session on a weekend so sunday i'm going to this is my day one right this is my day one and i'm taking the type one and day two i will be using for question papers okay so then again this is day day one of type two so this is actually day three but uh, i will say day one of type two right day one of type two but i'll write day three so day four is your again your question paper for uh type two then day okay this is done here now i'll take a break from statistics okay so i will study only study theory enough of statistics for the week so i'll study theory i'll study theory here i'll study theory here okay so this is a break from statistics i'm not saying break from studies <laughs> but a uh, break from statistics so you can plan like this okay your entire week so that you are not overwhelmed with your studies so as you see three days are gone if i have one week entire week i'm using only four days for my statistics so this is you know 20 days in one month or it can be even 1.5 months it can stretch to 1.5 months right because i'm using only four days per week so if you divide 20 into 4 4 4 4 so how many weeks you will take right if you have eight weeks for example considering eight weeks that is two months for exam then you will see 20 divide by eight so almost like uh, 2.5 days you are getting right so that's how it's not uh, necessary that it will complete in one month if you want to complete in one month then you have to continuously study statistics and i would not recommend because most of you are doing the same thing and this is not working statistics is a very difficult not difficult but it's a focused paper and let me remind you psychology if you are not serious about the subject it's a research type of study it's not a theoretical study plus it's a brain study a mind study it is a serious subject serious study that you are into you i hope you are not just here to take a degree and just pass and to show the world that we have a degree this is not where you have you are coming from i hope so because statistics or uh, psychology in general is a serious topic right so discipline is very much necessary and if you are working then it yes it does make your life a bit difficult but that is just for some time because theory papers are relatively very simple and just this subject is a bit difficult and in second year your uh, your uh, internship will be a bit difficult difficult in the sense just to go and attend it was into a physical mode but after a period of time they converted into an online mode but we did a partial internship physically as well so um that's how it is i mean it can become a bit difficult because you are working so i had informed my workplace that yeah uh, there is a commitment that is going on i will be uh, one month i will be little uh, leaving a bit early or in accurate time and manage it 
so it becomes a little difficult but yeah uh, statistics and um, second year internship will be a bit difficult but project there are steps involved how to go through the project it's uh, it's uh, the link is given in the description so it's a process that you have to follow and it's very simple if you want the forms to be filled up your uh, survey to be filled up you can ask somebody or some of your friends to do it and make sure that they are online so you can uh, go for a google meet send them a google meeting and sit together and do it so that will be more fun instead of sending them links so change your ideas be a bit creative because people might get bored of what you are doing constantly with them sending them links and asking them to uh, fill up the form and you know that psychology has like 30 40 questions in that uh, survey so that is like time consuming and people will be like in third fourth question what is this how many questions are they asking so it's relatively easy if you just schedule half an hour for your friends on google meet and just read out the questions and tell them what they should select immediately give them 1 2 seconds and select this is how the project can be. so that's that's about the project it's not the today's topic but yes uh, this is how you can make your lives easy and stay on this channel so i'm here to make your life easy and help you uh study along with working along with your job so this is about statistics and if you find it still difficult then i'm offering a personal classes other fees and the details will be given to you in the description and if you are willing to join the group sessions these will be group sessions if you still need hand holding after all uh, this material given to you and if you think that you will not be consistently doing it you need some help from somebody who will uh, consistently take your practice online and make you sit and do it so that you are focused on your studies if that is the case then you definitely can opt for the personal classes uh, the group sessions okay that will be conducted online of course and i will be the person who will be walking you through your practice sessions for statistics So thank you for watching this video and I hope I could uh, resolve your questions see you next time and stay tuned to this channel bye bye